Okay, hey, good morning. This is Greslin, and it's another opportunity to do some fun stuff with modding. Uh, this is for Fallout 4. And, well, we're doing something a little bit different this morning. Uh, one thing that we really get into over on the Greslin Game Discord is we like looking at mods that don't get enough attention. Uh, little things, uh, things that kind of get kind of get lost in the flurry of, you know, the the big name endorsement mods and just clever little ideas, really well executed that people just never notice. And which is a shame because some of them are really good. So we tried to go back and dig up some of the treasures and get them out and give them a little bit of attention. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show so we're gonna show a couple of older mods and we're gonna show a couple of newer mods and we're just going to take a look at what kind of trouble you can get into with just a few lines of code and a little bit of imagination we are at the okay we are in my combat zone test room uh, this is part of the Greslin games test suite you can download that on the GG discord and it's just a copy of the it's just a copy of combat zone uh, with all the NPCs taken out and you can use this to test your own little combat scenarios and do whatever you want. So I just thought I'd use this as a good little test spot. Uh, you can see I pulled all, a lot of the furniture out of the middle here. and Yeah. All right. So let's start with some of the first. Let's see. Let's start with something really small and kind of clever and the kind of mod that you don't realize you need until you, you get it in front of you and go, oh, that's actually really useful. And this is by Space Fiddle. It is, let me pull it up here. It is the Persistent Volume Sliders. Because after I've, personally, after I've played this game a bazillion times, I get really, really tired of the combat music. So let's, let's just take that down a notch. Uh, the reason, okay, the reason why Spaceville did the persistent volume sliders is because apparently, and I did not know this. Let's see, what's the read? Is this? Here you go. That's it. Uh, the base game has okay, will only save eight volume sliders, and uses six of them. So, what this does is it eliminates all the volume sliders from the the main menu, all the all all the vanilla game, and it transfers those controls over to MCM. And then allows you to it basically basically just adds a few more channels, and you can also do it. You, you can set it up with hotkeys. You can you can adjust the radio volumes. You can adjust the perk menu volume. Uh, you can do all sorts of fun things, and you can do it all through MCM instead of having to jump back out to the main menu. Because if you go out, it's like if I go out to the main menu now. What do we got here? Audio. And we've only got the one master channel, which which raises and lowers everything. But again, this is one of those mods where, you know, you don't realize you need it until suddenly it, somebody actually gives it to you and you realize, oh, wow, that's actually, I like that. That's helpful. So that's Persistent Volume Sliders by Space Fiddle. Uh, he is one, he's one of our regulars over on GG, and we like him a lot. So give that one a shot, especially if you want more control over how your sound is playing out in the game. Again, these are all pretty small mods. They don't interfere with anything. They don't conflict. Uh, they're pretty much all self-contained. So they're pretty safe to use in-game. Uh, you can start them up. You can start them up in the middle of the game. You can take them out if you don't like them. They shouldn't cause any problems. All right. So the next thing I want to show you is something by another one of our own. Uh, a gentleman, a good gentleman by the name of Psycho Hamster, who came up with a mod that I can only just refer to as fun. Uh, and what he did, I could explain this. I would rather just show it. So, oh, well, we're gonna do. We're gonna 
spawn in some settlers and and insta power armor now I got I said I want power armor but he just doesn't want to be in power armor today does he okay well Everybody gets power armor, whether you like it or not. Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Okay. How's your power armor? He's not talking. Okay, well. But that's exactly what this mod does. Yes. You yes. point it at anybody and it just blasts them into a random bit piece of power armor. It's it's simple, it's fun. I mean, seriously, how can you not like this? I mean, seriously, you spawn in the weapon, it gives you all your ammo, all the ammo you need, and you just start blasting power armor on people. How, how can you not like this? If you don't like this, you have no soul. All right, so that is that is Armor Blaster. He also has another one uh, for general uniforms, and it's got a few more features. Uh, really, more for specific a specific tool for you know equipping your settlers. And just go take a look at it. This is this is his first. So this was the prototype, and I think the Uniform Blaster, I think it's called Uniform Settlers, uh, is the more fully featured version. But they're both available on Nexus. So, just go take a look at it. If you if you like it and you would like to oh. see him continue to develop it, uh, pop by the, D the GG Discord, say hi, and give him a holler. And I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. Huh? Yep. Yes, I know. Hi. Yeah, it's just a wonderful XO one you got there with a nice paint job. All right. And let's see. What are we going to do now? Um, okay. This is another one of those, uh, you know, I, this is another one of those mods where I have to say, okay, I'm a big fan of, mo of, of simple, well-designed mods that do one thing. One thing, per just are beautifully designed, they're simple, uh, they're almost invisible, and it, you only really appreciate it once put, somebody puts it in front of you and and it, they're willing to just make the thing what it is, make the design elegant, and then walk away. And you have to respect that. You have to respect that as a mod designer. And I love this kind of mods. And this is what... Let me see here. What? And this, I believe, is not in the... Hold on a minute. This one's called Aim Fatigue. And Aim Fatigue does something nice and simple and clever. And let me show you what this does. Yes. Rifle, aim, watch that AP in the corner. That's what it does. It sucks away your AP when you're aiming. That is the entirety of what this mod does. And it's brilliant. Yeah. I love that mechanic. Because it's simple. It's... It's one of those kind of ideas that is, it almost is obvious, but it's only obvious when somebody actually does it and points it out. But it's, it's just, it's just a great, it's a great mechanic, it's a great mod. So that is aim fatigue. And let's see, what else were we going to do today? 
let's see. Oh, yes. Last thing I wanted to show, if I can find it here, is an oldie but a goodie. If you've never seen this mod before, I hadn't seen this mod before. This was, this was found uh, back in the Nexus archives by our own... Um, our own the royal rabbit who's a moderator on gg and who's got a who just got a great sense for these these long buried forgotten you know treasures that's only where only word i can have we actually have a full channel on on the grossing games discord called mod treasures where we go back and we try to find these kind of mods uh because they just don't get enough attention you go on you go on some of the other especially the the other youtube mod channels they're always talking about the latest the biggest the best they're the news channels they always talk about the things that are hitting hot mods and this isn't what we're doing here we are looking at the oldies but the goodies and we're looking for the small stuff that gets forgotten and this is called rob code detection boy and again this is a this is an, a simple concept if i remember correctly in in-game Robco Detection Boy is found uh, in the Glowing Sea. So you're not going to easily find this in-game. But we spawned some in just so that I can test it out and show you. And here's what Robco... The, the Robco Detection Boy, it's fusion cell powered. So you need a fusion cells in your, in your inventory to make this work. And what will happen is you... If I click on that, it will mark, as it says here, it will mark nearby targets for two minutes. So. Unit active. And that's what it does. And for the next two minutes, we will get those little marks on all local NPCs. And after about two minutes, we will get the little message saying that it's powering down, and that will be it. And let's. I don't. Do I have friendly mode turned on? Because I don't really want to get involved in combat today myself. If you want to see me get into combat, go take a look at my watch. Gre watch Grizzlin respawn series you can watch me mostly get my ass kicked in frost and let's yeah, let's turn on friendly mode uh this is one we're up at 1.08 for the gross and games test suite uh we have a bunch of test areas you can bump up levels you can hurt yourself we're turning on friendly mode which gets which makes all the NPCs in the game uh, neutral to you and as long as you haven't mucked around with your factions for example with frost it doesn't really work in frost but I will get that sorted out sometime soon and let's just spawn in a raider hopefully time's up bitch Over here. Yeah, and see, yeah. let's do this. He spawned in. That was some luck. Yeah. He spawned in, and the Robco detection boy picked picked him up right away. So, it doesn't just pick up the NPCs that happen to be around when you used it. It it dynamically picks them up for two minutes. Except it's yeah. simple. Does one thing, useful, uh, balanced, because again, it needs fusion cells to operate. And it also isn't easy to find. You gotta get, you gotta go into the glowing sea yeah. to get this in the original game, in the base game, unless you modded that out. So that, if this is if this is the kind of thing you you would like to see more of, uh, leave me comments. Um, tell me on the Discord. Uh, Hi, like like this video yeah hi uh, like this video and if it proves popular you know what we'll do more of them because uh, personally i don't think there are enough Powering off. bye bye 
there, I don't think there are enough resources on YouTube dedicated to basically finding these these little treasure mods and to show off the work of mod developers. Yeah. You know when they're not doing these yeah. gigantic. 5,000 endorsement, 10,000 endorsement overhauls, and the sweeping popularity. So, if you're into these kind of small, sometimes goofy, sometimes amazingly useful, sometimes both kind of mods, like this video, let me know, and I will happily do more of them. I think we have people, yes. on, we have people on our Discord who yes. really dig into this kind of thing, and we'll, we'll be happy to put more together. So just let me know. Anyway, this is Greslin. That's what we're doing today. We're doing some test videos and hope you're having a good Friday and hope you have a good weekend. Have fun out there and stay safe. Bye.